Hey there, welcome back. All right, I think I figured this out. This is the one we went to before. It was an easy way through there. This is actually the one that leads us to, yeah, leads us to the cave where the last, where the boss for this area is, which was the big crab dude. But there's a, there's a second exit out of here. That's why I remember it being a, a place that had a second exit. But I don't remember, I just don't remember it being this one. But yeah, if you look at the map, the light blue all the way up to the top is where we went out. But that gray area was, there's another exit in the middle of that. So yeah, we could have gotten this before, but that's all right. Not, not too much trouble going out of the way for it. Yeah, when I do this stuff, I try and I try and know for the most part what it is that I'm doing. You know, I, I I'm not a big I don't mind it because I know I know there's a lot of you know, a lot of people out there make it a lot more fun. But I like to have an idea of what I'm doing as opposed to just, you know, running it blind or just running it badly. You know, yeah, some people, they get all, you know, they like to be wild and energetic and while they're trying to figure it out. But me personally, I don't know. I'd rather just give you guys a decent game. You know, I'd rather you look at it and think, man, that's, whew. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay, so here we go. You know, but I'd rather you guys watch it and think, man, okay, that's, you know, almost like it's watching a tutorial on how to play the game. You know, I, I like the idea of being able to watch it and, you know, I want to have something interesting to talk about or, you know, I want to, you know, crack a joke here and there. But I also want you to be able to watch it for the gameplay and say, oh, this is. You know, if uh, if you're playing, if you're watching this because it's entertaining to hear what we're talking about, that's great. And if you're watching it because you're playing the game yourself and you're trying to figure out how to get past an area, that's also great. You know, I like that stuff. Uh, okay, so then that's a way to blast out into that other room we were in. You know, but yeah, when I was in... You know, when I was in grade school and high school, video games were always a great way for me to bond with other people. And that was one of the ways that we did it was that we would talk about video games and talk about strategies. You know, I'd hear somebody talking about, and that was rare, but I'd hear somebody talking about something like Final Fantasy VI, you know, and it was... I'd hear them talking about how to how to do something or how to go somewhere and immediately it was oh man you know I, i'm sorry i couldn't help but overhear your conversation i i've i played that game before i can give you a hand with that you know there was a lot of people that i actually talked to that way you know hearing them talk about video games and you know i i think one of the biggest times that that ever started with me was you know i was i was i was one of the the outcast kids for the most part you know there were the cool kids and then there was the then there were the other kids you know in in high school see it's funny in high school there are these cliques you know it's a big big place so you have these cliques you have a lot of emerging personalities so you're gonna have groups of people you know you're gonna have the the athletic kids you're gonna have the kids that you know, the, the really are the really artsy kids. You you know, it's it, your your generic clicks. If you've ever seen a high school movie, you know exactly what kind of groups and groupings I'm talking about. But in grade school, since grade school classes were usually really small, you, for the most part, you had the cool kids, quote unquote, and the other kids. You know, there were there were barely there were rarely more than two groupings. You know, sometimes three, and usually if there was three, it was just that there was that third group included that one kid who just didn't talk to anybody. You know, so I was part of the uh, what do we 
doing here? You know, so I was part of the nerdier kids. You know, it was I. It was three or four of us, and you know, we sat at our own table at lunch. We talked about our own things. We, you know, we talked about video games, and we didn't. You know, we knew what we were talking about. Nobody else did. And then Street Fighter Two happened. And all of a sudden, the cool kids were playing a video game. You know, and so that was... Suddenly, the things that my friends and I were talking about were interesting to them. So they wanted us to go and play arcade games. You know, they'd want us to go to the corner store that was near the school and play Street Fighter 2. Because... We knew how to play the game. We knew the moves. We we now had a common interest. You know, it's weird. I think that was probably one of the first instances of sort of realizing that the, the cool kids versus the nerdy kids versus the... the the goth dark kids versus the sports kid, you know, it was probably the first time that I realized that, you know, they're not really different. Like they're, they're that they're, that they're all people and it's really just their interests and their hobbies that really set them apart. You know, later on, you got to realize that how true that is, how much, Everybody's got their own thing going on and it, you know, we talk about how we've got this and that happening and you know, everybody's got their problems, but you know, early on every if these people they felt like they were miles apart from each other and they were always going to be miles apart from each other. So I think when Street Fighter 2 came out and the and the cool kids wanted to hang with the nerdy kids because they shared a common interest. That was the first time that I ever realized like, oh, they're not like, they're not the cool kids. They're just other kids. You know, there are other people that are going through the same kind of crap that we're going through, which is, you know, it's probably a lot to divine from a bunch of kids that like the same arcade games together, but I don't know, sometimes that's where those lessons are. All right, so we're here. We're back in area four. I think we got everything out of area four. Yes. But yeah, I think that that's just an important, that's an important lesson to realize is, you know, it's easy to end up feeling like you're alone just because, you know, there's there you're you're not part of the the larger clique, or you're not part of a clique at all. You know, the important thing is just to realize that. And this is this isn't even something that just pertains to high school. This is people. You know, there's a great saying that they're not people aren't against you. They're just for them. And it kind of makes it sound, it, it's almost like a selfish sounding thing, but the, the real, the point of it is just that, you know, when you think that someone's, when you, when you think that people are out, it, out to get you, it sounds a little strong, but you know, when you think that somebody doesn't like you and they're doing it because they've got some sort of problem with you, that's usually not the case. Usually the case is just that for whatever reason, they're looking out for themselves. You know, and that, it sounds bad, but it's really not because you do have to watch out for yourself. You know, it's great to have other people in mind when you, oh, man, there's so much space up there. And then I don't think there's anything actually of value up there. You know, but it's great to have other people in mind and consider other people and what they do. Here, let's just, uh, we'll do our Spider-Man thing and see what happens. 
you know, but one of the first things you have to do is you have to watch out for yourself. You have to, you know, if, if, if you're falling apart, you can't be expected to help anybody else. All right. So this nothing here just looks cool. You know, take you know, take care of you. That's you know, I, I try and talk about that stuff, and, and I know it sounds very after school, especially, but you know, take care of yourself. You know, make sure that you're make sure that you're you're in good health. Make sure that you're, and when I say in good health, I mean physically and mentally. I especially mentally. You know, try and take care of yourself. You know that 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 matters. You know, if you run yourself, if you run yourself ragged because you're trying to do stuff for other people, you're trying to make everybody else happy and you're not happy, you're not going to be able to make other people happy. Let's see. All right. So we got a few things to find here. Uh, oh, it looks like just the... Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, so we got a health upgrade to find here. But we'll do that next time. Take care of yourselves, guys.